What's going on, everybody? This is Candice from the Knicks Wall. If you don't know me, I'm just one of the many talented writers at the site. Please check us out. Um, and today, we will be breaking down some of what's been making Mitchell Robinson unstoppable on the glass, specifically how unstoppable he's been with grabbing offensive boards. He currently leads the league in O boards per game with six grabs, and 74.4% of those being contested rebounds. He's grabbed a total of 78 offensive rebounds this season, the closest, biggest number of offensive rebounds grabbed total in the league comes from Osser Thompson, who's grabbed 53 so far with Detroit. This has given New York's offense a really gritty look, allowing them 16.5 second chance points per game, which is good for fourth overall in the league. And so today we're just going to be looking at two specific games that Robinson has really dominated, uh, one against the Charlotte Hornets and their really elite big man in Mark Williams, and against the Los Angeles Clippers, who have quite a plethora of really talented big men themselves. Obviously, Mason Plumlee was injured in this one, but Robinson was still able to dominate uh, with or without him on the floor. So yeah, let's just take a dive into what has made him just so unstoppable this season. So in this clip, we see that P.J. Washington is doing his best <laughs> to block Mitchell Robinson out of the paint. It does not go well for him, and despite Mitch not being able to really secure the rebound. He was credited for it, but despite him not being able to secure it, it goes to show that you really need to be careful with him um, on offense because I think he's sort of an afterthought considering New York's weapons in Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, um, now Dante DiVincenzo. They have a lot of these perimeter scorers that can really distract you from the fact that Mitch has really good hands and he can very easily score as well if he grabs one of these boards and secures them. So yeah, they just have to be really careful with making sure that he is being defended, but he does a great job of distracting defenders in that sense where he takes advantage of the, sharp, the sharpshooters on the team and just goes to work. So here we have Brandon Miller. Um, he is trying to defend Jalen Brunson. He gets caught in a screen from Mitchell Robinson, so he just kind of has to roll with him. Mitch does a really good job of rolling out into the paint, and then all they have to defend him is LaMelo Ball and Brandon Miller. Um, Brandon Miller is obviously still coming into his own. He's a rookie, but with LaMelo, he has yet to really uh, assert himself as a really dominant post defender. Uh, so Mitch is really able to take advantage of that pretty easily um, and get a nice scoring opportunity. You know, considering how many offensive boards Mitch grabs, he doesn't really get to score a lot, so it's nice when he gets fed and is able to take advantage of that. So this clip is kind of like Mitchell Robinson's bread and butter, right? He sets the screen, same as the last clip for Jalen Brunson, um, and just sort of like starts to leak out a little bit into the paint and is, again, an afterthought. Um, boxes out Kawhi Leonard, who's like a really strong defender, pretty easily, um, but is unable to secure the board because Mason Plumlee is pretty darn good. Um, you know, Mitch does a lot of the little things that the Knicks need especially on the boards, especially on defense. He's their anchor after all. So just a clip like this, I wanted to share it because it's like very clear just how good he is at making just really contested rebounds a battle. Okay, so this clip was actually hilarious and super fun to watch because Mitch just somehow manages to like defy gravity on so many of his closeouts on bigs. Um, here he makes Zubats just battle him like I don't even know how many times he had to bat this up the ball but Mitch is just able to play handball <laughs> so consistently um against bigs and here he's able to really take advantage of Zubats who's not as strong of a defender as Plumlee um seal him off with ease and again perform acrobatics <laughs> and play volleyball at the same time okay so we're again finally looking at the Clippers still um, Mitch, I pulled this one because it looks like he literally blocks off all five <laughs> Clippers players that are on the floor with him, which is insane. Um, it's already the third quarter, he has to be gassed, and he still finds a way to seal off, I mean, like, three or four defenders here, um, to get the outlet pass back out to the perimeter after a uh, so-so shot from RJ Barrett. I mean, yeah, just look at this. He battles everybody out, just gets the tip of his fingers on it and does the smart thing, passes it right back out to the outside. 
there are a million one other things that I could talk about regarding Mitchell Robinson and the impact that he has on the Knicks, uh, but I'll leave it at that. And I promise I didn't purposefully end this video with him absolutely destroying the Atlanta Hawks, but he does do some amazing work against their big room. Anyway, uh, thank you so much courtesy to the uh, NBA Advanced Stats site where I got all of these videos and numbers from. And shout out to at NBA underscore New York on Twitter where I got the intro video from. This has been Candice Pedraza signing off for the Knicks Ball. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>